Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about some cards that I want to collect many of. And these cards are, in my opinion, very strong, very unique, and at the correct price point. Fantastic in terms of speculation. So I will talk about Heart of Kinren. This card is very, very strong. It's very pushed. Is it Smuggler Copter? No, it's not. But at the same time, it's the best thing you can have in standard as an artifact. There is a lot of artifact hate. The most played card is actually a braid, and that kills this pretty easily. But overall, this is a fantastically pushed card. It reminds me a lot of Smuggler's Copter, which was so good it was banned. I do feel like it eventually will be a 15 if not $20 card during some time in standard, and it has life in standard. I mean, it doesn't rotate out, and the set that supports it does not rotate out either, Caldas. So A for Revolt, Caldas, good stuff. Next, Liliana. So here I have two types of uh, pickups. I think that she's actually a lot better in standard once you rotate out Gideon. There's no reason you would play this over Gideon. Gideon being, all things being equal, Gideon being one cheaper. However, if Gideon rotates out, this is probably the best token maker, and that definitely has a place in standard. People love making tokens, and on the off chance that the zombie deck becomes good again, lots of potential. Now, the second one I want to talk about is after it rotates out, there's no way this is a $5 Planeswalker. So should it ever hit $5 in standard, which a lot of Planeswalkers have, and she actually is trending towards $5, Man, it would be, uh, I would buy so many copies of this card that just me buying them would probably float it to $5. I don't, that's my price point. At $5 at any time during her life point, at, even after the rotation, this is legit. It is a zombie Liliana, pretty much. Next, if you want to take a risky speculation, here it is. It is the counterbalance. The artwork here is gorgeous. In my opinion, it's actually better than the original Counterbalance, which I cannot say that about every Invocation. Uh, I've been very critical of the Invocations, but I like the artwork, and I've seen this one in foil. It is $23 and dropping. This one will be below $20 in no time. In fact, you can buy on eBay right now for below $20. One of the crazy, crazy parts of the Invocations they're so cheap. It's like ridiculous for them to, given the probability of opening one, they shouldn't be $23. And Counterbalance, I know it's banned in Legacy, or it's not banned in Legacy. It's not good. It's not very good anymore without top. But I don't know. I don't know. Wizards of Coast said that they're going to leave Modern alone. It only kind of makes sense that they would also leave Legacy alone. We will see. Uh, Zodiac Tiger, which is an uncommon from Portal Free Kingdoms, and you might be like, oh, why the, why would you collect this? This is so dumb. It's never going to be good. As a collector, I am a big fan of tigers and lions, and this is the... It appeals to me. Is it a great card? No, it's not a good card. But it appeals to me on many aspects, and it's the type of card that I can give it to a friend, and a friend is going to appreciate it, even if he or she does not play Magic. I do give Magic, I sometimes give cards to non-Magic players, and they can put it in an office or something like this. It's a great piece of artwork. I would love to own the original copy of the artwork, but I, I don't know where it is, and I don't know how expensive it is. I'm probably sure, I would assume it's in Asia somewhere, and very difficult to get a hold of. But if you have the original artwork, I'm willing to pay a lot. At least four figures, if not more. Okay, so that's, that's Zodiac Tiger. I wanted to throw it out there in case you guys are collecting that, because I do want to collect it myself. Desolation Angel, this is a new one. 21 bucks. A beautiful angel. I have always said this. There are some things that will always stand the test of time. Mythic angels from a 
limited print run will always have a casual audience, even if the angel sucks. If the angel is like terrible, uh, and Des- Desolation Angel is not bad, uh, it it will still have an audience. And one of the things I look at is how can I, how much can I trade this into what I need to trade it into for the casual folk. A lot of times, a casual folk will have cards I really want, but there's nothing I can give them because they don't play standard. They don't really care about EDH that much in terms of competitiveness. But if you have a mythic angel and foil, they will take it. They're like, oh, well, I'll add these angels in my collection. And that's what they're doing. They're just collecting them. Like, as if magic cards didn't have value. I mean, the concept, right? Anyway, the other one is Bantu Deglorified. I like Bantu. I think Bantu is very good. He is trending down to $30. I don't know why. If you were to pick an EDH commander of one of the gods, I think Bantu is one of the better ones in my in my personal opinion. I you know I like him. I played him many times. Uh, the second pre-release, I had a Bantu and he just owned everybody. Like he just owned. I think overall it is an incredibly powerful card, um, and I like it. I think it's just fantastic. I, I, this image is great, and I don't. He's not going to be this price forever. I know that for a fact. Uh, if I would pick the god, all the gods are okay, but I think Bantu is the cheapest right now. And as I always say, the meta can shift at any time. So why not buy the cheapest? It's like the story I always tell about Steam Vents versus Temple Garden. Temple Garden was fifteen dollars. Steam Vent was like five or six dollars. You could trade a Temple Garden for free Steam Vents. Now, when Splinter Twin came on the scene, then things changed. Unfortunately, Splinter Twin got banned. And now I think the best one, I would assume, is the Watery Grave is the best one now. But anyway, the meta changed, right? Death Shadow is the best deck. Death Shadow is going to want um, different colors than Splinter Twin. And the, I mean, it's always like this. Buy the cheapest version of the gods and then hope it goes up. And hopes the meta shifts. Because when you hit on Bantu, it'll go up to 60, right? If you buy God for 50 and it goes up to 60, you actually didn't make money. You lost money still. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.